Yo, what's going on guys? Um, so today I'm going to be doing something I've never really done before. Um, also going to be the first proper video on my channel. Um, but we are doing some farm sim. If you like today's video, just go ahead and hit that like button and that subscribe button. Since, you know, you're already here and if I post another video and y'all like it, then easy way to find it when I post it. So what we're going to be doing today is I have a dealership. Yes, a dealership. In a solo game. I know that's crazy, right? Yeah. But, um, without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so today I think we're going to go try to look around for some trucks. Because I obviously don't have any up there. And there are none in the shed or this shop where we're actually probably going to be doing most of the work on the vehicles and where we are going to store them. kind of sucks that there's nothing really in there and you know we've got these two areas for under body work without having to put it on the lift. All the trucks that are here right now are my personal trucks so yeah kind of kind of a bad thing cuz we have no trucks for sale. The only things I have are actually not even that good. It's that third gen over there that's got kind of a build on it and this 60 King Ranch that um barely that I have to park sideways in the garage for it to fit. And it's on a Bubba setup and this third gen is on wide. But, I mean, this thing's pretty nice. It's got a 5th gen bumper. It's got these nice wheels. And it's got some nice starlight. Might build another one of these trucks to put up for sale. But, probably not going to be for a little bit. Considering the fact that, you know, it, took a, it takes a lot of time to put that stupid starlight headliner in. To get all those LEDs in. It sucks, man. But what we're gonna be doing is just gonna park this up right here and, you know, go inside, sit on the couch, and look for some marketplace listings and Craigslist listings. So, I will see you guys in a set. Alright, guys, so I just found a nice 5th gen for sale. But the problem is we need to go pick up this trailer that I found. It's 10k for the trailer and I think 50 for the truck for 5th gen. So we're going to go pick it up and see how we like it. Alright boys, so we're almost here. Um, don't exactly know. Oh, right here. This is the turn right here. Alrighty. So, ooh, that's a nice, that's a nice Ford. Oh, yep, there's the trailer right there. Alrighty. So we're just gonna pull into here and gonna go inside and let the guy know that you know got the money and want to pick this thing up for 10k. So I will see you guys in a second. Alright guys, so we just got the trailer paid for and everything. All you have to do is hook it up. And we're good. Let's see. Ooh, it's got a hydraulic adjusting thing. That is very nice. Um I do want to check what is up this road here, because I've heard some rumors of abandoned trucks over in this area, and I really, really want to see if there's any of them, because I've heard there's a corn maze and an abandoned barn, there's an abandoned truck, and there's a title in there, shoot, might be coming home with a little, nice kind of little truck but don't know 
if there is going to be one up here or not, and if there is, I'll do we're definitely taking it. But, um, I mean, y'all like the trailer? So, Lizard Logistics, 40 foot. So, you know, it should be pretty good. Um, it's a toy truck with a fire. Uh, water bucket. Don't need a water bucket or whatever it's called. But I don't really see anything. I think this is a corn maze right there. Yeah, public corn. Ooh. Wait, wait, wait. Turn on my flashlight. Oh, you cannot see anything. Oh, it's a Chevy K30. See, is it a dually? Yes, it's a dually. Can't get inside. Yeah. Ooh, it's got some pretty clean interior other than some leaves in here, but... Pretty clean interior. A couple stains here and there. Um... Don't really... See, is that a... Is that a Cummins? Oh my god, hold on. Oh, we have to try and get that thing started when we get back to the shop. I'm taking that 100%. Alright, boys. So, I'm going to get this truck loaded up. And once I do that, we are going to head out. Alright, we got the truck loaded up. Nice and secure there with our ratchet straps. So, it's time to head back home. Got to turn my high beams on. And I will see you guys when we get down to the house. So, we're pulling up back to the shop here. And I don't really know why this car is just sitting here. But, I'm going to have to get out of our way. And then get back into this lane so we can turn into the house. Oh, it sucks that it's rainy. hate rainy days. So much. It just sucks, man, you know? But, hey, successful trip. I guess. I mean, didn't think I was going to get a free truck. Um... But, you know, sometimes you end up getting some pretty cool things when you least expect it. Like, when I got the headlights for my, my uh, 6.0, didn't even think I was going to get them. I was going to pick up an exhaust tip, and, you know, the guy had them for sale. So I was like, why not? I don't really care. Alright, so... We had to go pick up some parts earlier, and had to put them on the Ram, not the Ram, the Chevy here, and, well, it does start now. A little hard to get started, but it does start. Um does drive it actually it does have a 12 valve in it which I was actually very surprised about did not expect it to have a 12 valve at all but you know I mean that's a it's definitely a perk but I'm just gonna go over here go to sleep and I will catch you guys Tomorrow, actually. Yeah. Mm. We're just gonna go over here and. Ooh. Oh, it's really bright outside. But, um. You know, the third gen looking all nice and pretty. New trailer. It's a little dirty. The deck might need to be replaced. But. Yeah. We're not too worried about that. 
What we are worried about, though, is this thing right here. This is what we're going to be worried about today. Um, all we really need to do is paint bumpers, grill, and a couple of other things just to get it all refreshed and all that. But, um, once I'm done doing that, I will catch you guys back. But, in the meantime, just enjoy the time lapse. Alright boys, so, truck is looking a million times better. Um, put some stickers on the back, you know, just decals to kind of go with the truck, some LED tail lights, lights on the, um, all of the old lights are all now LED, put some American forces on it, a little bit of a lift, put some track bars, Traction bars, real is what you're supposed to call them, but I mean, apparently it's been you know sitting there for like two months or so, but you know, thing runs really good. Still a little bit hard to get started, but it does have an MBRP exhaust tip, which is very very nice um we will be actually putting this up on the little truck stands up here and this is actually the very first truck over here at PHB Customs aka kind of a little bit of Kubota dealership um haven't gotten to making a sign a custom sign for this game yet but, yep, the first ever truck for sale over here. Yeah, pretty pretty big accomplishment. Um, really, really, really proud that, you know, we were able to find this thing f for such a cheap price. Like, look at how clean it is. Six inch exhaust pipe all the way through to an eight inch tip. I mean... It's just amazing what you can accomplish when you just put in the work, you know. That's really what I hope to do with this YouTube channel. I'm going to just be really trying to you know, get these good quality videos out. Um, It's going to be my first time ever editing a video. Yeah, that isn't for TikTok on like CapCut. Yeah, this is going to be my first time ever using proper editing software. Um, but it's all... I mean, I'll let you know how it goes, guys. But, you know, until then, I will catch you guys later.